Today we're working with the Home Depot and Tanya Nyack on something I think everyone can accomplish. Hi guys, Tanya Nyack here and welcome to my guest bedroom at my home here in Boston. We're all spending so much more time at home these days, so I wanna show you how to build a better, more comfy bed so that it feels more like you're on a staycation. As always, with any good build, you start with the foundation first. The type of mattress you choose is really important because hello, we all need our sleep and it all relates to the quality of sleep. This is a gel memory foam mattress and just as a little tidbit, a gel memory foam usually lasts about eight to 12 years, but a memory foam mattress lasts about seven to 10 and an inner spring mattress lasts about five to seven years. You should be rotating your mattress every two to three months. And if you have a mattress that can actually flip over, you should try to do that at least once a year. All of this stuff is from homedepot.com. Their online store is a one-stop shop for styling your bed. Everything from sheets and comforters to pillows and throws with lots of styles available that are super well-priced. So here's the starting point. It's always a good idea to begin with something that's decorative, like your bedding. So I found this cute pillowcase and duvet set, and I'm gonna build the rest of the room around these colors. Did you know that pillows should be changed out at least every one to two years? Here's a good little test to know when it's time to break up with your pillow. If you fold it and it bounces back, it's here to stay. If you fold it and it doesn't bounce back, that's your pillow's way of saying, it's not you, it's me. Time to go. Now here's one of my favorite things to do. I like to mix and match my sheets because it adds layers and it adds contrast, giving your bed that extra luxurious hotel feel. Some people think that the higher the thread count, the better the quality, but that is not the case. A good rule of thumb is to use anything between 200 to 800 thread counts. Anything beyond that is meaningless. So save your money. Out here in Boston, fall comes quickly and the temperature drops. I love to make a layered bed with extra, extra comforters. So I'm doing two duvets with inserts. I love a tone on tone bed. The more plush, the more layers, the more luxurious. So this is what I'm trying to do. I have a very neutral base and I'm just going neutral on top of neutral on top of neutral. Two sleeping pillows, two decorative shams, two throw pillows, and one different shape, whether it's smaller, elongated, but one extra throw pillow. I know it's a lot of pillows, don't judge me. Configuration one, I know this seems weird, but put your decorative pillow shams in the back. Especially if it's a busy pattern and you want to keep it feeling a little more calm and a little more subtle. Then, put your sleeping shams right on top so you get a little bit of the pattern peeking through. If you want to add one more layer, you can put one pillow right in the middle. Or, take two pillows and keep it nice and symmetrical. Take a long, oblong shape or a smaller square and put it right in the middle. HomeDepot.com has free and flexible delivery and you can return things at the store or online. Creating your own staycation feeling right at home is easier than you think. All you need are multiple different layers. I went with two duvet comforters. One of them that has a print that was actually my inspiration for the whole bed. Don't forget that you have to have a foundation to build the bed off of. So I found this beautiful bed with a tall, elongated channel tufted headboard. I chose a lighter fabric to keep it light and bright, but I also added many, many, many layers of pillows as well. Topped it off with a quilt, and now this is a bed that is perfectly fit for a bed and breakfast right in the comfort of your own home. <laughs>